Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. In this short video, I want to show you the Solidify modifier and why you'd use it. Ready? Let's go. I'll start out by saying that I'm in Blender 2.8 and these icons have now changed. Okay, these all these icons used to be across the top here and they used to be kind of colorful. Now these these cool little 2D flat glyph style icons that are just down the side. They're all the same. All right, it's just that they took what was up here and put it down the side here to make it cleaner. So, solidify. To show you solidify, let's say you have an object here uh, that uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to faces and I'm going to delete these faces here. So I'm going to say face there, I'm going to select this, I'm going to hit delete, say faces, and you have this object. But you want to make this solid. Okay? You could go in and you could have extruded this and then brought it down and connected the points in the middle and that, that's a way to do it. But a really cool modifier exists that lets you just solidify this. So if we go over here to this little wrench, we hit add modifier and we go down under generate and we say solidify. Okay. We now have this modifier on here that lets us add thickness to this. So it kind of like, it's like building a wall. Or building some thickness. And it goes the other way too. Negative, positive. So it lets you put build thickness onto almost anything that you want to create. And you have even thickness. And you can flip the normals around. You have high quality normals. Um, and and a, a number of different only the rim. Okay, this is pretty useful if you don't want that wall effect and you just want kind of a lip here, an edge. Or if you take that off, you get a nice solid wall. It is also useful if I go add, mesh, say sphere. And I'm just going to go ahead, turn this off, and I'm going to hit tab. And I'm only going to select, so I'm going to hit A, I'm going to hit B, and I'm going to select half of these. Hit delete. Faces, yes. And now I have this just bowl shape. Okay? So if I add solidify to this, add modifier, solidify, okay? I can now bring this in and have, let me turn this off so you can see this better, I have a nice solid bowl shape. So it's very useful. I like it. Go in, go in and play with it, see what it does, and uh, have fun with it because it's a pretty cool way to quickly add some nice thickness to your models. Okay, so hopefully you got something out of this. I know it's a very short video. There's more in here that uh, you can play with, like vertex groups and things. But uh, I want to keep this video very short and just kind of show you a really cool little tool here. It's existed forever, and this is nothing really new. Uh, There's nothing new to 2.8 or anything, but it is a very cool uh, thing that you can use to start adding thickness to your to your stuff. Okay, so hopefully that helps. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, share, hit that little bell notification, whatever, and uh, just keep coming back because I'm going to keep making more of these videos. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.